Hey guys, welcome to the second part of our Oculips editing tutorial. In the first part, we talked about the absolute basics of getting your character to generate a simple lip sync using the Oculips tool. Now we're going to look at the various ways that you can adjust and refine the results. With this tutorial, I'll assume that you've already watched the first part. If not, you can find the link in the video description. On the screen, we have the raw results that were produced from the previous video. You'll notice that there are a few red words that appear in the voice track, indicating that they may not be entirely correctly transcribed, or they may not be included in the built-in dictionary. You can find the dictionary information in the preferences at the bottom section. Currently, there's nothing really interesting, it just indicates that it's an English dictionary. You can see in this example that script was mistakenly transcribed as scripe. However, if we click and drag in the timeline, we can see that the Visim is more or less accurate. Green words may also occasionally be incorrect as well, however. Let's focus on the prepared word just before that and see how we can refine it. To bring up our Aculus panel, we can right click on any of the words and select it from the pop up menu. You can import a prepared script and get more precise. If you want to select individual words in the Aculips timeline, all you need to do is simply select that word from the text box below. Here, I've double clicked on the word script to select that, and when I play back, it will only play back that word. Script. Script. To fix the text on the word script and further refine the result, you can simply edit the word script in the text box to the correct spelling and then select a line selected. Script. What that will do is correct the word and slightly adjust the lip sync result, which in this case will be barely noticeable. Script. Once that's done, you can use the reset frame button to reset the range to default and correct the rest of the affected words. And get more precise lip syncing. It's highly recommended that you go through your results and do this for all of the red words in order to provide the most accurate end result. What I'm doing now is going through my entire script to manually correct any transcription errors. Be aware that even if a word is not read in the text box, it may still contain a transcription error. In this case, it made the error of transcribing credible as opposed to incredible. However, since they're both actual words, the dictionary won't recognize it as an error. You don't need to realign selected after each correction, you can actually just go through the whole thing and do it at the end, which is what I'm doing here. You may get a pop-up notifying you that there are still some erroneous words that may not be in the current dictionary, but you can just add them by selecting yes. This will give you the best timing and range for each word. One thing to be aware of is that you may need to adjust the area of each word individually. In this case, I'm looking at the word end here, which seems to be a bit misaligned from the actual wavelength shown. In order to fix this, you can just click and drag on the edges of the word in the Aculips timeline and get things aligned properly. And strength level. You can import a prepared. Once you're okay with what you've done, you can go ahead and play back to hear that buttery smooth voice accompanied by more accurate lip sync results. You can import a prepared script and get more precise lip syncing. Create incredibly natural speaking, like a real person, with a co-articulation design, and be able to further fine-tune every word's visemes and strength level. Okay, finally we're going to look at adjusting the strength of your viseme shapes. If you open up the Modify panel, you will find further down in the Animation tab a couple of sliders which represent the global values for viseme and expression strength. If we take the viseme one down, You'll see our character will almost look like he's mumbling in the lip sync result as we play back. You can import a prepared script and get more precise lip. If we put that to a higher value, you'll see a notable difference in the result. You can import a prepared script and get more precise lip syncing. Let's just enter in a manual value of 135 here and play back. You can import a prepared script and get more precise lip syncing. Create incredibly natural speaking, like a real person, with a co-articulation design, and be able to further fine-tune every word's visemes and strength level. You'll notice that along with the excellent lip sync, you'll see muscles on the character's jaw and neck get involved as well. Okay, let's look at adjusting individual viseme strength now. Let's right-click on the prepared word once again, and open up the Talking Style Editor. Here you'll see strength values for each individual viseme shape, 
and you'll also see a drop-down menu that contains templates that will set all sliders to preset values. Let's set it to something a bit more noticeable like bellowing. If we play back, you'll notice more emphasis on certain visemes, and some values will even be 150, beyond even the highest strength value by default. You can import a prepared script and get more precise lip syncing. Now this can be set for each individual visine clip independently. If you want to break up your current single clip, you can just go to various points in the clip, right click, and then select break. Once we're done that, let's change each clip section to compare these presets. For the first one, I'll use the enunciating preset, which emphasizes enunciation. You can import a prepared script and get more precise lip syncing. Create incredibly natural speaking like a real person. With you can see that it really emphasizes the consonants and plosives in that part of the clip. In the middle section, let's change that to bellowing once again. With bellowing, there tends to be stronger values on most visemes, and you'll notice more extreme jaw movement as well, which is due to the bellowing preset being more like yelling. Create incredibly natural speaking like a real person. If we change it back to normal, you notice that there is decidedly less emphasis on the individual visemes. Create incredibly natural speaking like a real person with the co-articulation design and be able to further fine-tune every word's visemes and strength level. You can import a prepared script and get more precise lip syncing. Create incredibly natural speaking like a real person with the co-articulation design and be able to further fine-tune every word's visemes. For the third section, let's select this impatient preset. When we play back this one, you'll notice the lips are a bit more pursed and the jaw and cheek movement are less pronounced, indicating a quiet resentment or someone trying to keep their anger in before bellowing. Able to further fine tune every word's visemes and strength level. Let's leave it at the smooth preset for now, which sort of blends the visemes together a bit more with less severe values for each. And be able to further fine tune every word's visemes and strength level. It's important to note that before we move on, that you can save and load up your own custom presets using the save and open folder icons on the top right of this panel. We've talked about strength for visine clips, now let's move on to the individual visemes themselves, which are found in the lips track. To edit any of these, simply double click on them and the lips editor window will pop up. From here you can switch the visemes and also use the expressiveness strength slider to increase or decrease their strength individually. This can be very handy when you want to manually emphasize a very specific part of your character's lip sync as opposed to a whole clip or section. Like a real person with the co-articulation design and be able to further fine tune every word's vis- Okay, finally, let's take a look at the lips options track. This is a way that you can individually smooth out or strengthen the lips, tongue, and jaw results. You can import a prepared script and get more precise lip syncing. If you want to apply this to only a particular section of the timeline, then you need to click and drag in the lips options track to highlight an area in blue. Then right click to open that window. Here you have the options to use this setting for the entire mouth, or set individual strength for individual parts by clicking the respective radio buttons at the top of the window. If we set these to a lower smoothing value, except for the jaw, it will only have a slight smoothing effect on the jaw for that duration of the timeline. More precise lip syncing. Create incredibly natural speaking like a real person with the co-articulation design and be able to further fine tune every word's visemes and strength level. You'll see that a lips options clip will also be generated in the track that you can manipulate as you please. Keep in mind that there is also an option for clip strength, which will apply those same settings to the currently selected clip as well. You can import a prepared script and get more That's a brief overview for the more advanced lip syncing options you have in iClone with the new AccuLips tool, and how you can combine it with the more traditional methods to get the ideal, most refined results. You have the automatic option for quite good initial results, but the perfectionist can also go into the various layers to get precisely the effect that they want. Once you're done, you can play back and see the results. Script and get more precise lip syncing. Create incredibly natural speaking like a real person with the co-articulation. That's about it for this tutorial, everyone. Thanks so much for watching, and make sure to check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com, and I'll see you in the next video.